Hey, it's Giacomo. No, I'm not Kwame Brown. There's a hundred jokes I could tell in there, but you gotta imagine, for somebody who was supposed to be one of the NBA's biggest washouts, uh, if not the biggest, maybe in the order of uh, Darko, I think his name was, he's probably with the biggest, Kwame Brown wanks up there. However... <clears throat> It, the boy apparently played for many years in the NBA and finally left, but his post-NBA washout career, it's looking awfully good. Um, that being said, it's a gigantic rabbi trail. Today is Shabbat. I have to ask you always forgiveness once given making a video. There's a reason why I'm doing a lie-down video right now, and it's my personal advice to all of you. Especially if you're getting up in age, and I'm 51, I'll be 52 in a couple of weeks, and you're getting a little sedentary. Now, I didn't like the way I was looking. I stepped on the scale the other day and it said 260. Now, granted, I'm six foot two, and everybody says it, and I can kind of agree on it as well. I carry my weight excellently, and I've got really broad shoulders and a very broad back. Speaking of shoulders, that's the reason I'm making this video at all. Um, <clears throat> I've taken to doing battle rope and medicine ball exercise, uh, hit workouts at the gym, and it's rapidly causing me to drop weight. I love it. Um, and some put me back to doing burpees and everything else, but here's what happened. <clears throat> Friday, I went and did a, a slam ball workout. You know, it felt fantastic, of course. It, it hurts. You know, that, that slam ball will tear your butt up, and this one weighed 14 pounds. So I'm throwing against the walls. I'm doing burpees with it. I'm, um, doing um, lunges and and um, and squats. It's a fantastic workout. You ought to try it at some point. Um, I think the, the more traditional term is medicine ball, but it, you don't really slam a medicine ball. It's a slam ball, if you ask me. Saturday morning, Shabbat normally. Um, I've been very busy at my synagogue down in Columbia, and I've been missing out on my weekly bike ride with my friends in the upstate. So... Saturday morning, went out to join them, got the bike filled with some uh, new air in the tires and everything else, went out for a ride. Well, not even 15 minutes into the ride, yours truly, who hasn't ridden in a while, probably a little clumsier than I needed to be, I go head over the handlebars and hit the ground. I mean, hard. Praise Yahweh. I give him all the praise after all, because if it wasn't for him, I would have had the bevy of physical experience that I had from the martial arts to the Marine Corps to working as a bodyguard in LA for a little while and um, a nightclub bouncer. I know how to fall still after many, many, many years and being 51, like I said. So I'm going down again. I'm six foot two. So that's a long way down, boys and girls, and a lot of weight coming down. Um, I go over these handlebars I immediately go into a shoulder roll. Well, it helped immensely, except when I hit the ground, I hit my rear deltoid. I mean, hard. Uh, rolled, ended up on my back, looking up at the sky, did a self-assessment, like, okay, what hurts? Did I hurt my shoulder? Mm, okay. Did it hurt my ankles? My wrist hurting me? No. Is my back hurting? Nope. Within four seconds, I'm up. Bam. Up on my feet, checking everything out. Okay, I got a scratch on the ankle. The wrist is aching a little bit. Okay, rear deltoid hurts a lot. Mm, okay. I'm a Marine. We fight back when we're injured. Trust you me. I got back on the bike and we rode five miles, completed the ride, everything else, got back home. On the way home, stuffed the bike back into my <clears throat> 2014 Chevrolet Equinox. Chevrolet, finding new roads. Right, shameless plug. I love Chevrolet. <laughs> so... As I'm putting my bike back into the um, into the trunk area of my Chevrolet Equinox, then the pain set in, like, oh, yeah. Now, my bike is a steel frame. It's an old giant, so it's got some weight to it. And I'm picking this bike up, and I'm like, oh, that actually hurts. Oh, boy. And then, of course, when you've got a shoulder issue, you have a little mobility problem, and you can't really turn corners. Like, oh, dear God, this is killing me. So I make it home, drag the bike inside, feed the cats, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to take a nice cold shower, put some ice on, and I'll be fine. Well, no. 
about an hour later, I'm completely immobilized in the right shoulder. I'm like, oh boy. Talk to a friend of mine who's a massage therapist who's given up, who's given up the work because she doesn't want to do it any longer. She said, you know, maybe you ought to go ahead and go to the hospital, Jock. I'm like, oh boy, here it comes. Here comes a shoulder rig and surgery and needles and everything else. And they only take a COVID test on the way in. Like, ah, oh, hell. So I drag myself there knowing, you know, whatever's wrong with me may be a problem. I get there, they take an x-ray. Like, well, we can't find anything. It's probably just a really bad strain. Here are two prescriptions. It's the funny thing about this. Um, they gave me a prescription for naproxen sodium and a very powerful painkiller. I think it was hydrocodone, as a matter of fact. Um, and I'm like, gosh, I hate taking painkillers, especially a monster like that, an opioid-based. Uh, oh, boy, here we go. So I run over to Walmart on the Sabbath. Uh, had to go spend some money. For whatever reason, Walmart either didn't get the order for the painkiller or they forgot at the hospital or vice versa. I have no idea what happened, but it didn't go through. And so she gave me the naproxen sodium. Like, huh, okay, let's go ahead and take one of these and lay down, as you see here for a while, and kind of let things go. That was about nine o'clock when I took that spill. It's now 7 p.m., or 10 hours later, almost to the nose when I took this injury. I've got 60% mobility now. And a lot of the pain is already gone. Why is that, boys and girls? You think I'm lucky the, uh, the one the proxy sodium prescription strength that I took may have done? No, no, no. It's because I'd made a decision to take care of this body that Yahweh has given me. And really, you all need to follow my example as well. Especially, as I said earlier, if you're getting older and getting a little sedentary as you, uh, you know, approach middle age and such. And I remember specifically, we had a, um, a sergeant is, who was the uh, head of my platoon when I was in the Marine Corps. And this guy was an absolute monster, you know, bodybuilder. Well, I guess he took a 10-foot fall and bruised his leg really badly and had to go see the, the, uh, the doc. And the doc took a look at him and said, you know what? Anybody else in your position would have broken your, your freaking femur. I mean, big time. But because you work out and because your thighs are like two footballs stacked together, I guess all that muscle blocked you from breaking the bone. So what am I saying, boys and girls? It is imperative that you keep your body in shape, not just to be skinny, but add some muscle to your body. You can add some uh, protection around your bones and such and increase your bone density. Again, I fully, by the grace of Almighty Yahweh, and we always say, Bitzadat Hashem, um, I fully expect to be healed within 24 hours. That's from prayers and the one little bottle of anti-inflammatories that I have. I even hate anti-inflammatories, to be honest with you. But for right now, the amount of pain that I was in earlier, I will take them. I'll definitely be taking my turmeric and black pepper combination as well. And praise Yahweh, because I took care of myself. I'm going to overcome this. And I want you to think about that as well, this laying on the couch and thinking that Dr. Feelgood is going to give you a bottle of pills and you're going to be better, you know, soon and continue the bad habits that got you to where you were right now. It's not going to work. So keep all these things in mind. Take care of yourself. Do some weightlifting, even if it's just, you know, body weight exercises and increase your opportunity to have quality of life as you approach my age and older. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> hey, love you much. Shalom. Take care of yourselves. And uh, for crying out loud, wear a helmet.